Greetings, uh, this is Adam Bergstein and I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the Views Node Taxonomy Filter module within Drupal. Uh, first, you can see if we go into uh, Site Building and Modules, you can see down here that we have installed the Views Node Taxonomy Filter module found here. Next, uh, we're going to go into Content Management, and we're going to look at a given piece of taxonomy that I've created called the Program Tag. If we hit Edit Vocabulary, you can see that we've assigned it to a number of different content types. If we go back, you can see the different terms that we have that uh, basically reference different programs inside of this uh, sandbox website that I've built. Now, uh, if you go to Views, Minister, Site Building, and Views, you can see uh, we have a variety of different views on the page, but we have one called Program FAQs. FAQs was one of the content types that we assigned for the taxonomy, and this Program FAQs is what we are going to use to filter based on the taxonomy. Now inside of this view you can see we have the title and the body that we're displaying and we have the node type as FAQ. We filter if it's published or not. And then we have the taxonomy filter, node taxonomy filter here. And you can see that we specify that it is a program tag. That is the filter that we are going to apply. And this will pull the, the current node's uh, program tag and filter it based on that node. And we have an output type of a block here that we will use to display on a given node that will be uh, helpful in pulling in the node's taxonomy for program. So to demonstrate this, if we go back to the website, you can see that we have a degrees page and we have different programs that are listed here. Under the GIS degree, there is an FAQ for that specific program. So it has been tagged based on that program, and this is the FAQ that comes up. So again, that leverages the View Node Taxonomy module. Uh, and thank you for uh, seeing my little video, and if you have any comments, please uh, email me. Thanks.